Hey there guys, it's Mocho and today we are back with another golf video and this time it's something special. I had to do a post intro because we did something really cool. We shot the lowest score we've ever shot. So I think a lot of it is due to the, you know, being able to watch the footage and learn from my mistakes, especially on some holes. And also, you know, a little bit of luck. So let's take a look at what we did. So we are here, first tee box. Summit Hills, another absolutely gorgeous day. I'm telling you what, it's gonna be hot today. It's, it's already in the 80s and it's like not even 10 o'clock yet. So we're gonna be trying some new things here. So hopefully it works out, but oh, it's just a gorgeous day, man. Let's get right to it. All right, so one of the main things we're gonna be taking a look at today is changing some slight things up in the grip making more conscious backswing and forswing. Talked a lot about the chipping problems we had last time and uh, hopefully we're gonna be doing some things better today, but I'll tell you what, it's definitely a nice breath of fresh air here to be playing when it's warm out. One week ago today when I came on Monday, it was in the low six, or kind of in like the mid 60s by the time I got here, but it's pretty in the mid 80s, so. One of the major things I wanna do today is slow down the swing speed. I was kind of oogling at it last time, but that's not a good thing for me means I'm trying to go through the motions way too quick and hopefully strike the ball more accurately because I've been complaining a lot about the fairways. Uh, realistically, this hole, yeah, pretty good, but I do want to point out that uh, last time we played this hole, uh, which was Thursday, the previous video I uploaded, I was all the way over there. You see those trees? That's where I was hitting from, and there's the bell. You noticed I commented on the bell. Um, so this is where I'm at today, and this is considerably far behind it. So, yeah, even though I hit it, uh, farther almost you know maybe 30 yards farther last time I was over in the trees this time I took a lot off the swing and I hit it straight and it's in the fairway <laughs> see what I'm saying with this construction but uh whatever I'm not doing it right now so that's good so unfortunately way off the back and another thing I want to do is get better shots of the actual swing instead of just the results. Obviously you can't see the results great anyway, so um, I'd like to actually be able to see if I do anything stupid in the swing, you know? Yeah, not great, but uh, not too bad either. Might be able to see the result here, but it was chipped well just so far that I had to hit it way harder. I'll take five every time on a lot of these holes. This is one of them. In fact, that I was in the fairway and hit a great second shot, just too much distance. Smells like improvement to me. Over the right side, trees. I heard it hit trees, but there should be some clearing over there. Hopefully this time we're not losing a ball again. Ball's just there. How far we got? It's pretty far. These trees really caught it up. Usually it goes a lot further than this. 190 still, so I don't know. It's pretty far from where I am, so I guess I should hit five and hope it, hope it reaches. Okay, not even close. Didn't hit it well at all. Hit most of the ground before the ball, but it's fine. We'll have a nice little pitch in. One of the main things we were trying to do there was uh, follow through as far as far as the backswing is. And that was the complete opposite of what I used to do. It certainly, uh, can't really probably see the result, but it was it was okay. I didn't hit it far enough again, but um, it did what I wanted it to, yeah, definitely. Pretty good ball mark there, realistically, so I'll fix that. And then hopefully, uh, hopefully get it close. Made bogey again. That was a little bit of a struggle there. So I'm glad we made it, made a bogey there. And um, good putting, actually. I came much closer than I expected to with that first putt. Okay, so we're on the par three now, longer par three. Been hitting five iron typically, but um, I took two swings already, one with the iron, or one with the hybrid and one with the five iron. And the hybrid was extremely well hit and the five iron was duff. So <laughs> uh, we hit here hybrid last time and it was way long. 
And then the first time we hit it, it was here, it was way short, and that was mostly the wind, so. Unfortunately, we just missed the green. There's the green, ball's right in front here. To the left, um, probably about five yards short of where it would have been perfect and a little too left, so hopefully we can get close this time and still save par. But either way, uh, I'm right now where my game is at. I'm basically very satisfied. If I made bogey on every single hole, that would be a great round for me. Gold another one. Made our bogey. Not the prettiest. That, that chip again. The chip worked out well. We'd be in really good shape in this game. Let's move on to par five. Alright, well, we got a guy cutting the grass yet again, but uh, again, played a little slice on this hole, so probably gonna be behind some trees. So I don't know, weird circumstance, literally cannot find the ball. I guess it's gotta be in here somewhere. I don't think I sliced it that hard, but I've looked around for a good 10 minutes already, I can't find it. Funny opportunity, I found like six balls in there, so we'll just hit some of those and see where it goes. Off the back, ended up uh, again. I just, it sucks, man. I don't constantly having to play and worry about people cutting the grass and stuff like that. It does kind of bother me. I'm not really sure what I need to do to get better at that because it really affects me. I'm unable to concentrate. I feel like when there's that type of pressure, like it's one thing for there to be other golfers, but I, I just don't know what the etiquette is, you know. Uh, that hit the flag. Didn't Again, didn't go in the cup, but uh, six, I guess, somehow. <laughs> okay, the main thing I need to do on this hole is put my mind at rest about the previous hole. There's no no reason to think about that anymore, even though we made a crazy up and down or whatever. Um, not worth dwelling on, so here we go. Long par five with the big dog leg. Got a little slice in play today, and I played it perfectly this time. Extremely satisfying spot. See if you can see it. Very nice in the middle of the fairway, basically. Usually I'm over there in the trees or to the left or something like that, or maybe even further to the right. But yeah, so this would be good. I still don't know what I'm gonna do, but I just need to play conservative here because there's no way I'm carrying that tree with the distance it is. Maybe that maybe it's possible now that I'm this this close, but there's no reason to try because if I don't hit it well, I'm going to be well past the green to the right or left and it'll be much, much more difficult chip, so. Nice little layup, basically. Kind of right under the tree. I think it bounced through the tree. Hopefully I'll have a good pitch in. <laughs> okay, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted, but the greens are really soft today, so I played it and it just, completely dead stopped. I'm really satisfied with how I'm playing this well, this hole so far. Here's the green as you see, kind of pretty long putt, but uh, this is really good course management. I feel like the first tee shot enables that, but the second shot was a really good idea. Well, I guess I messed things up again somehow. <laughs> anyway, I made six on that last hole, triple putt, three putt, whatever you say, and uh, it's really because the greens were really wet. I didn't know how, how to change the speed of that and ended up making a big mistake, so. But still, six, we've made nothing but bogeys. Literally five bogeys now, so. Again, if that continued, I'd be extremely satisfied. But here we go. This is the hole that we made the birdie on. Oh, look at that. Wow. How about that? Captured that randomly. Some deer just running across the cars. I told you this place is awesome. Another great shot at this hole. We have a uh, 
similar distance to where we were at last Monday. And this time we're in the fairway, but of course, fairway. Thinned it, but it should be a decent chip from up there. Another bogey, which is absolutely fine by me. That chip was uh, pretty good. Hopefully you were able to see my posture a little bit better. Tried to make sure that I spent a little bit more time in the four swing or whatever, the follow through. And um, it was the right pace. Wrong line though. Severely offline. But uh, the second, the first putt was actually pretty close. Had a chance of par there. Okay, this one we're gonna take a look at the uh, swing more than anything. A couple of shots on this hole already filmed and you can never see anything after I make contact with the ball. So might as well just take a look at the swing. Not a great result, hooked it, so maybe you could identify why. I tried to play a little layup and I don't think I did it successfully. Club was impeded by the tree. This is uh, usually a really easy hole. A right mess, as they say. Then I was winning. Well, our first double, and it is on the hole that I expect to score the best today, so. Uh, this time it's a little less left. I think it's on the green. Uh, no. So yeah, unfortunately off the green again, but this is, I'm getting really consistent at this. So play this little bump and run again. Every time I do this, it some, so, comes so close to going in the hole. And, but this time it, it almost went in the hole, but it went way by it again. Another bogey. I mean, I got to, I'm telling you what, man. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but uh. That is so big, man. That's perfect on this hole. <laughs> Tough side hill line, not great at that stuff, but. I adjusted a little bit too much for the side hill and I'm pretty far right. Get up, get up, get up. It's not quite enough. One or two yards too too little. Good effort, I almost went in again, but still passed it. Yes. I can't even, I mean, I'm just really happy right now. Here's the card, you see it? Don't you say it, hey, don't you say it, don't you do it. Way back today. Might have to hit the driver. Oh. 
Okay, that was left as I feared. Found it, never hitting driver here again, look at this. And that was hit pure too, so I don't know. I don't even know what to do here, honestly. I have no idea, completely blind over here. Hopefully we'll find it. Uh, it's just like my lucky day today, I guess. I mean, look at this, this is ridiculous. Can you see that? Here, here's the waste area, right? You managed, I mean, I don't even believe that. That's hard, that's hard to believe. Great little layup there. Saving, saving the possibilities. I didn't think I'd catch it clean. Way off the back, you see. Not terrible, but a uh, downhill chip. That actually was probably my best chip of the day. Don't, why, why, don't even say it. Why would you jinx it? Come on, next hole, let's go. Next one's up, we're, we're laying up a little bit. If I hit it too far, it's gonna skid off the back of the green. It's extremely downhill, so I never know how to play that. If I hit it too short, it's gonna be a nice little chip. It's a lot better miss. Too far, it's probably out of play. Too short, just a tough chip. So that time it was hit perfectly and it was just short. So yeah, if I was one club up, we'd be putting for birdie. It honestly might've been a hole in one. It was a perfect line. If I hit the right club, that could have been a great hole, but you know, still decent result. And of course, an absolutely gorgeous day. I think I'm gonna need to just put the glove on now, man. It's really hot out here. Even though I loved playing without a glove. That ball is way right. Well, not way right, but right off the line because my hand slipped a bit. Okay, that was definitely the best approach shot all day. Maybe I'll keep the glove on from now. Beautiful day, guys. Absolutely gorgeous weather. Gorgeous golf too, man. This is for birdie. That's a good effort for birdie. Decent putt, but not the right line. So, uh, par it is. That's a great score. The next two holes are always interesting. We're gonna try this new strategy that we've been using. Before this, we always hit a really low iron try to get it just into the front of that fairway there and play longer but this time I'm hitting kind of like a low stinger almost trying to just kind of push it in the direction I want it uh, because for some reason the irons if I hit them pure they're going a little bit too far and it's very difficult to control the distance even <laughs> with a low iron so funny man today's a crazy day I teed it up way too high didn't realize until it was too late Swung basically hit an eight iron anyway, and it's exactly where I want it. Yeah, and last time I told you I'd show you the descent because it's kind of funny. And uh, follow along. I had hit the same club I hit on the last hole because it tra treated me so well, but it was too much club and I hit it a bit left. So actually it was right distance, just not a great line. So there's the ball, holds all the way over there. That's where we came from. Nice shady little spot here, but uh, that's probably gonna mean some disaster for my little chip here. Yeah, 
checked up heavily. That is another bogey. Absolutely love this area. So nice, nice and shady. Even on a day like today, it's nice to get in the shade. Summer's almost over guys, but still got a couple holes still here to play. Just wanted to hit a little hybrid here. Take any doubt out of it, you know? That was easy to control and uh, still relatively far, but I'd rather take that than a uh, really awkward uphill, hugely uphill chip. Welcome back to the show. 60 degree wedge. Now, I'll tell you a quick little story about this. When I was working at Glenmar, my uncle also worked there. I found the club. Nobody wanted it. It was been there for whatever the statute of limitation was. I said, I'm going to take that. I don't have a, a high loft club, like a super high loft club. And he goes, what the hell are you going to do with a 60 degree? I was like, I don't have one, I need one. He goes, you don't need a 60 degree. What would you ever hit a 60 degree for? So I was like, oh, okay, I guess I don't need it. I took it anyway. Then we played together for the first time in like 10 years. I brought a 52 degree only. That was the only wedge I brought. Didn't like it. Uh, it's way too heavy for me for some reason. Um, but anyway, he's like, don't you have like a higher loft club? I was like, well, I have a 56 and a 60. He goes, yeah, get the 60, put that in the bag. I was like, hey, you." You don't remember the conversation we had, do you? It's in the bag for one reason. It's for this shot. I knew we'd have something like this today. I'm gonna try my best. It's the first time I've swung it in a while. But the other the other wedge didn't work out. Pitching wedge is too little, obviously. So, or uh, yeah, the, the loft isn't enough. So I need to pop it up in the air and I need to stop it. The pin looks like it's right there. If we do it well, we're in really good shape. If not, we'll know for the future. You live and you learn, you know? Didn't really, uh, I don't know. I mean, it looks like I caught it, right? But it didn't really go up in the air much, so I think it's probably scuttled off the back. Right there, flag's there. But uh, yeah, we got this little wall here. So it would have probably, I mean, there's a possibility it might have bounced off the wall. <laughs> That's actually, I've seen somebody play that a long time ago when I came up here. Somebody hit one so far, bounced off the wall and actually rolled back very close to the pin, so. Well, that is quite disappointing three putt, but the first putt was really bad. If I had a little bit better sense of the greens here, I was a little worried because, again, these greens seem really firm com compared to the front. And that's probably because it's now probably 10 degrees warmer than it was when I started. Still a little cool, I guess, in terms of grass. And uh, that's it, but again, like I said at the beginning, I mean, come on, I said it, right? So. So the round begins anew. I love this side of the course. It's got some very open, friendly holes. And honestly, it's even more pretty up here. So see that giant mountain off in the distance. Yeah, hopefully we're not gonna have any weird noises in the back swings today. Okay, absolutely clobbered that one, but it was a bit, a bit left. It was hit pure, I guess, just again, a stance thing. That's gonna be a long shot into the green now. I basically turned this into a part five, unfortunately. So the ball's down there. That's normally just kind of over there. Basically is where I normally try to get. First of all, already worried about the lie, but I have to smash it just to get it there. And uh, hopefully this little mound thing doesn't, doesn't interfere with all that. Well, it was so far away. It's the only place I could put the camera. I doubt you saw it, but it went way right. There's like a willow tree or whatever that is. I don't know. It looks like a willow tree. And it kind of bounced by the roots and took a really hard kick left. So that's perfect. Basically, in the direction of the green, we'll see how far we are from it still. Tell me what you would do. That's just in the middle of the fairway, guys. What? I don't, this place is bizarre. I literally just found two golf balls on this hole and neither of them were anywhere that they would be hard to find. Ball's there. And as you see, there's those 
pikes, whatever, those ropes there to prevent you from going. So this is a great kick. Again, it was way to the right and way behind this. Bounced really far out to the left here. This is a great, great place to be chipping from, but I'm almost certain that I'm going to hit that rope just because just it's there, right? If, I, if it wasn't there, I've never even come close to it. Well, that was absolutely horrendous. And of course, that's because I was worried about the stupid post. I should have just took it out. I just, last time I did that, it was a really difficult thing to get back in the ground. We have an inc incredibly long putt here. I'm, I'm just going to try to putt this because I don't want to mess around anymore here. Okay, that was not bad actually. So that is a chance for bogey still which is of course the number we're looking for, but yeah, still a long putt. Well, that's double unfortunate, man. I feel like there's a thunderstorm coming. Maybe you can't tell on camera, but I hear like this weird rumbling off in the distance and there was supposed to be rain today. Uh, looks like we swerved most of it, but Anyway, we got only three holes left, so hopefully we can finish this because this is going so well. It's a really, really, really nice shot, but again, a little bit too far right. Like we played this last week. Ball's in a little uh, thick rough there, but should be able to blast it through. That tree shouldn't be in play. It's pretty much right above the ball. That rough really ate it up. And it wasn't a great swing, but should have went further than that, so we have a chip still. Okay, so not the best chip, but it's still, again, this is more consistent and it's a lot better. There's no 25 yard misses like there was last round. Let's see, let's cut them out one, two, three. That's another bogey, documented this hole couple times now problems with distance or I guess being too far from the flag more so but I'm not changing anything I'm trying to stay as consistent as possible and if I have to make a hundred foot putt to make birdie then that's perfectly fine by me stupid bugs well someday the flag's gonna be where I want it and we're gonna make a birdie on this hole but again basically exact same spot a little bit further to the right this time. Usually I land kind of over here, but I think actually that might be my ball mark from last time. Uh, but yeah, so here and uh, another really long putt. But again, I don't care. As long as we're on the green and we're putting, that's better than having to worry about stupid chipping and stuff. Really good putt, honestly. Came pretty close to going in well. Not really, but it came pretty close to getting to the exact spot I was trying to land it. So there you go, that's how you play consistent. Just get it on the green, two putts, good. the first putt was extremely good, above average for me, and the second putt was good enough. I almost didn't go in, but we made a par there, so. So oh, all comes down to this final hole. If we score this well, this is going to be an amazing round. This is always a hole that's difficult and they got the tees pretty far back here today. So all I got to do is put it straight because if it's left or right, it's going to be very, very difficult approach. And as you saw last time, the ground is extremely hard on the left. So. It's a very good chance that is out of play. Yep, and as always, this hole kills my rounds. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really know where to drop, so I'm gonna just drop here, and I'm actually gonna do something that I've been talking about doing <laughs> and haven't done. I'm going to lay up to the front of that hazard. Yeah, presumably my ball is in there somewhere. Looked for a little bit, but there's definitely a storm coming through, so uh, yeah, can't really uh, spend too much time looking for it. This is 
five, I think. Yes, yeah, it's, it's getting dangerous here. We're looking at maybe triple. Yeah, yeah, way off the back, so. Well, that's it for the round. So thanks for watching, guys. This is really good. We shot a 93, which is one stroke lower than 94, which I had done, I think, three or four times in my life, twice now within the last month. So I do feel like I'm getting better. Um, the chipping wasn't amazing, but I did get a lot more chances to make good shots after the chipping. And I feel like I am getting better at putting too. So that's it. Just gotta start hitting the green in two, and we'll be ready to make some really serious scores. So let me know what you guys think. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.